Just um, group. So first of all, let's start off with a definition of what they actually are. They're essentially large portions of disk allocated to particular projects. So this is a very common sort of use case for Jasmine is uh, a lot of people collaborating, sharing data in a, in a large uh, section of disk. Um, so it's typically used as a kind of common cache for a project, uh, for where people are going to put their process data, where they're going to do their analysis, um, and uh, and also how they can um, release the data and it, make it available to others that are users of Jasmine and more broadly. But the key thing to remember is just a chunk of disk. So uh, there's no, no no particular special magic here in, in some respects. So if you were logged into a uh, Jasmine, as Ag's just shown you, um, you would see it under the slash group workspaces area. So uh, the top screenshot here is it shows you uh, a listing from the slash group workspace area. And you can see there are, there are several sections there, which basically conform to generations of Jasmine hardware that have been added. So that's probably less significant. Eventually you get down to the actual group workspaces themselves. So I've got an example of the one labeled specs here, which is under slash group workspaces slash Jasmine slash specs. And that's basically just an area for a, a particular project to do its work. So there's no real uh, rules about what goes in there. Okay, uh, one of the key uh, things that we do to make things easy is we always mount uh, these group workspaces under the same location on all the machines. So it's always under slash group workspaces slash Jasmine slash specs. It will be the same on the transfer servers, the generic servers that actually you had to log in, and uh, the Lotus cluster uh, to actually do like batch processing. It's all going to be the same. And we try to keep it consistent so people can find things. Uh, to actually get access to uh, one of these uh, services, you need to use the accounts portal. So back to where uh, Fatima was showing you how to get an account and then apply for the Jasmine login role so you can log in. Another role you can apply for is access to a group workspace. So go to the accounts portal. There's the Jasmine services tab at the top. One of the things uh, available, one of the um, groups of services is group workspaces. You click on that it should give you a list and there's a there's a button for apply for access if you click that uh, and fill in the details in much the same way as you did for jasmine login role uh, then your request will go off to a the group workspace manager and, it, and they will approve or reject that on that basis and you'll get a notification via email once they've approved you, what you end up with is access to a particular units group. In this case, it's uh, GWS underscore specs. So that is a group workspace um, uh, uh, associated with a units group so that people can uh, uh, control access. Uh, just a few uh, details about the group workspace manager's role. So the group workspace manager is there basically to sort of uh, to police what's going on, to, to provide um, uh, a communication method with uh, the people at CEDAR and to tell you what's going on. It's probably the first contact you'd have with them is if you're uh, using Jasmine is you will probably find out which group workspaces to apply uh, for from the group workspace manager because they will be intimately associated with the project. Okay, they're the person who's going to respond to the email, and they're the person who's going to tell you what the what the rules are, um, hopefully. And um, they'll also be, they might do some additional things like help you uh, help set up a uh, different access methods uh, to um, uh, for the users, and also to uh, work out to close the projects down as well. And they'll be the people who talk to the help desk. Uh, Okay, so here's some here's some generic rules for the rules of the road for group workspaces. Um, group work, so one common problem we have is group workspaces are often uh, confused with the Cedar Archive in general. 
and that's not the case. These group oak species are, have a limited lifespan, even though it's in years, it's still limited, and we won't be looking after it after that. So the group work space manager has a responsibility to back that up if that's what they want to do. Um, it's also, while the group work space looks like a regular file system, there are some things it's not so good at. So particularly, um, it's not the great at, find, uh, at listing files because it's going through a more complicated database type of operation. So uh, find an LS can be slower, try to restrict the number of files in a, in a single directory, avoid uh, overuse of the symbolic links. There's some links to uh, uh, some pages that might help you.